My name is Dale Chambers. I'm a St. Louis artist that is a part of the Keith Haring exhibition that's on view right now at the museum. My piece is called The Queen's Throne and today we're going to be doing some of the coloring book sheets and the work book sheets from A Queen's Throne. I always like to make little designs on my front pages because what if the piece is being shared by other artists around me. I'm going to want to make it so unique and authentic to my style of art. So just in case someone misplaces my workbook or they or I leave it in a location that I can't find it, that someone can recognize it. Sometimes that means that I'm simply adding a little bit of color and basic design elements. Everyone has their own style and aesthetic. And so when we think about design, which is repetition, patterns, and color choice, and line making, we can find a way to do it in a way that really represents who we are. In my little design for the front sheet, I just picked two colors that what I think accentuate the title, which is Queen's Throne, Coloring Book, and Work Book. So let's begin. My piece in the Keith Haring exhibition looks a little bit like this coloring sheet. This is an opportunity for you to make your queen look however it is that you want her to look. One thing I like to do is mix colors. Sometimes when we mix colors, we can make things look either more imaginative or either more realistic, whichever we prefer. So that's always fun. Just for, like for instance with this sun. In this sun image, most people would just maybe put yellow. But because I know the sun rays has many different hues, I'm going to use a little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow, and then we'll see what happens from there. By mixing the colors up, it gives the sun a little bit more unique character and also a little bit more dimension. Now, of course, your picture of the queen's throne is not gonna look like anyone else's. And it may not even look like the artwork that I have on view right now. But the goal is, is to think about place. Place is so important to us because it tells us about our shared morals, our shared values, and even our shared culture. A lot of times we think that culture means that a person might look like us or think like us. But culture is shared traditions, shared social norms, and shared values. So in my culture, people look all kinds of different and unique ways. And we have things in common, but maybe not everything. So we have the sun. The sunshine, shi the sunshine shines on everyone. And so that is a great unifier. Another cross-cultural unifier is that all people have a story of migration no matter where it is that they're from, even if they only move next door. Maybe there is a time in your life that you've had to move. You might want to start thinking about it now because there's things about those experiences that you took with you to now. Maybe you've never moved before, but maybe your parents have moved or your grandparents have moved. There has to be something unique about the place that they came from that they took with them and maybe shared through painting, drawing, talking, and sharing stories. So let's continue. Usually when I'm drawing pictures, I like to talk to people. 
because you never know what you'll discover. Sometimes you might meet a person and you can't get the marker top off and you might need help. <laughs> and then that person might be the one to help you. Keeping up with the idea of patterns, I'm putting a little bit of musical wave, not musical wave, excuse me, um, a little bit of water waves in my river, the river in my art piece for the exhibition is a symbol for migration. Just like you have a story of migration or the culture that you're from or the nationality that you're from or even the ethnic group that you're from might have a story of migration, so does people from ancient civilization. A lot of people believe that chess came from a more past time closer to ancient civilization. So the best way that I think of representing that is by doing a lot of the same images or the same patterns over and over again. For instance, if you wanted to think about where it is that your people have been or your family or your friends have been and you wanted to draw it on the Queen's Throne worksheet, Maybe you can do it in the blank negative space here, or here, or here, just like in my piece for the exhibition. Now, I think that I want to talk about my family. So let me find a brown marker that is close to the hue of my skin tone, and I'm going to say Let's say, for instance, my great-grandmother lived at the bottom of the Mississippi River before it was that she moved to St. Louis. So I'm going to make a little drawing of a happy face for my grandmother. I'll give her a big, beautiful afro. Okay? Then I'm going to think about my mom, who also moved around. She moved from Memphis. This will be my mom. We'll give her a different hairdo. Then she moved to St. Louis. We'll put that a little bit further north. And then she had me. So I'll add a picture for me. And I'll give myself little pigtails from when I was a little young child like you. And so that is one way to do a family migration story. I have a grandma who started at the bottom of the river, then my family moved further up the river, and then we had more family members come about, such as myself. Some of us have siblings. Some of us have maybe even a little pet. I'll draw a little cat here. And that can also be a part of your migration story. A lot of times when we draw pictures for art, people ask us for an artist statement. Maybe in your artist statement, you can talk about your family story of migration. And some folks might wonder, what does migration have to do with chess? That's a great question. Just like people, just like many cultures, many ethnicities and many groups of folks, chess has moved all across the world because sometimes when folks are sharing their stories or their cultural experiences, they might bring things like games with them. And so you can tell the impact of a culture by what it is they do in their downtime. When I'm not making art or reading books, sometimes I might play in nature. I might watch a movie. All of those things inform us about our culture. Our culture is one of the most unifying things that we have for ourselves in society. It's a way to get to know other people. It's a way to connect with other people and it's another way to expand our personal knowledge base. 
all while sharing stories and coloring. And because we play chess all across the world now, I bet you you can find someone who is nothing like you that also will play the game of chess. And I'm sure you'll be able to learn a lot from them. I'm almost finished with the robe of the queen's throne. And my drawing, I made it look a lot like the drawing that I've already done for my piece with, queen, with Keith Haring's exhibition. You see there, I kind of went out of the lines. Please excuse me. And also know that it's just OK to go outside of the lines. Maybe there's something about my artwork that I missed. For instance, I see something that I missed right now. I miss sun rays. I love to see sun rays through the clouds. And so if I was able to add anything to this drawing sheet, that's what I would add, sun rays. Let's see. I think that we'll use another orange. Let's see if I can get it off the marker this time. Much better. And just so that I don't forget to say what it is that I drew here, I'm going to write it at the bottom of my coloring sheet. And I think because blue is one of my favorite colors that I'll do it in blue. Like chess, people, that's supposed to be a comma, so sorry. People have traveled all around the world. Even though I live in St. Louis now, I'm not actually from St. Louis. My family is from St. Louis. And so I was born in California. Maybe if I wanted to write a story, I would pick a story about my travels. And that would be an extra workbook activity beyond the coloring sheet. A lot of times when I'm drawing, the best thing that I can do is let my mind to be free. To show that, hey, I have an imagination. And so my imaginative thing that I did here was make her crown pink. And so we'll give it a break right now. This looks a lot like my artwork for the Keith Haring exhibition, but it also looks like a new piece of artwork. We'll come back to it soon. And again, one of the questions you might ask yourself is, where are you from? Where is your family from? Who are the people who migrated? And the second question you might want to ask yourself, or a series of questions that you might want to ask yourself, is how did you learn about chess? How did you learn how to play chess? And where did chess come from? So now we have our coloring book sheet, which is a little fun design that I put on top of the title page. And then we have the piece that looks like the Keith Haring work in the exhibition that I'm a part of. Keith Haring has really inspired me because sometimes we want to be realistic and sometimes we just want to have fun with the art. This is an opportunity for all of us to use simple design to have fun. And if you're thinking about talking to your family and your, fam and your family members and your siblings and your parents and your friends, about some of the things at the art exhibit, um, here's some questions for you. Where do queens live? Does anyone know the answer to that? I think queens live everywhere, all around the world. Um, another question, where do queens come from? Queens come from a very specific place, and maybe someone in your family knows the answer. Here's another question. 
where have queens traveled and why so those are questions that you can look around to find the answers for and then we're going to review draw in people traveling along the riverbanks I strongly suggest drawing in people from your own family but say for instance you don't want to draw people from your own family you can draw maybe a group of people from history or something that you learned in social studies or history class now as we get into the coloring book you'll see that there's sheets of different continents this is your opportunity to come up with your own migration story and draw it in just like you would the Queen's Thrones imaginative map. And you could pick whatever continents that you want to work with. And you can come up with a migration story of your own, all by drawing in where the people started and where they're going. Where did they migrate to? And where did they end up? Your story does not have to be real. Make up a story. And here's my question to you. If you were a queen or a part of a royal court, what games would you bring with you for your travels? Why? And what, and what made you inspired to bring those games with you? What would you play? In the story, tell us about where you're going and what it is that you see on your migration trip and tell us not only what games that you want to play on your trip but how it is that you would want to share it with your new friends in your new place thank you